Hey guys, I'm coming at you with a requested video. Um, I'll be showing you how to create your own themes for Winterboard on an iPod Touch or iPhone for more 3.0. Um, a few things before we get into this video. You need to have something called Open SSH installed from Cydia. Um, this enables SSHing on your iPhone or iPod. Um, so make sure you guys have that installed. Another thing, you need to have an SSHing program on your computer. Depending on if you have a PC or Mac, you'll want WinSCP or Cyberduck. Uh, if you guys have no idea what SSH means or what how to do it, just search for it on YouTube. There's tons of videos. It's really easy. Um, you guys should know how to do it in no time. So assuming that you already have Winterboard and Themes installed on your iPod Touch, go ahead and SSH and once you've done that just leave it there don't even worry about it go to your desktop and create two folders label one iPod touch themes or iPhone themes and label the other one with your name um, once you do that go back in your SSHing program and you should be in private slash var slash root backspace and uh, you should be in private slash var go into stash themes and you'll see all of the themes that you've installed on Winterboard. Um, now just drag and drop themes that uh, you want into your iPod Touch or iPhone themes folder. Right now I'm dragging a theme called Bluebird. It's actually going really slow. Um, I'll go ahead and drag other ones while that's waiting. Uh, let's say High Glass Soul. Let's go with that one. Um, let's do a couple more. Just for the sake of the video, let's do Windows 7. And I guess it's just waiting on Bluebird. Wow. I have no idea why that is going so slow. Uh, I guess we'll just have to wait until this is done. This is really annoying. <laughs> I'm really sorry about this. Usually it should not go this slow. I don't know what the deal is. But, um, here we go. It's almost done. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. We're done. Whew. Okay, so we have Bluebird in there. Now it's starting Eyeglass Soul. It's 40%, 45 This one seems to be going a little faster. So I think I'm going to be done with Eyeglass Soul, I guess. Or this, whatever. These are almost done downloading. I'm seriously sorry. I did not know this was going to take so long. Uh, you know what? I'm just... Oh, never mind. Here it goes. We're almost done. Let's go, Windows. Okay, Windows is done. We're almost done with iGlass, so... Uh, if you guys are watching this, just go ahead and fast forward until this is almost done. This is completely unnecessary to watch. It's just the things downloading. Mm, iGlass, Soul is... Let's go. Come on. Done. Okay. We got three themes that we drug into the iPod Touch themes folder. You see Bluebird, Eyeglass, Soul, and Windows 7. Um, also, go ahead and open up the folder with your name. And this is just to, uh, you know, mix and match different themes that you like. So say you like, um, let's see, the wallpaper of Bluebird. Just drag that into your named folder. Um, you like that, but you don't like the icons of Bluebird. So you go back, but you like the icons of Eyeglass Soul. You like the App Store icon. Um, now, before you start messing with icons, make another folder inside the folder labeled with your name called Icons. Make sure it's capital I, lowercase c, o, n, s. There's Icons. And then just drag and drop the icons that you want into that folder 
Um, maybe I like, let's see, there's tons of icons here. Say I like the Cydia one. Just drag and drop it into there. Um, like I said, I'm trying to make this video short, so I'm not, obviously you'll spend more time on this. So there you have wallpaper and icons. So this is a really simple theme. All that's going to show up on this theme is that wallpaper and these two icons. Everything else will be the same. And once you've created a theme that you like, um, just drag that folder into the theme section with all the other themes that you've downloaded from Cydia. And it will transfer over. And there you see it, Fritz, the theme I created. And once you do that, just go ahead and go into Winterboard. You'll see the theme with your name. Select it, and bada bing, bada boom, you're done. You just created your own theme for Winterboard on 3.0. Um, thanks for watching this video, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, check out my other videos. Thanks.